We're trying to put in place in Klanabogen is an experiment. Um, we have a pipe which takes part of the gravelled farmyard area um, and initially that went more or less straight into the river. Sometimes after a dry period when there is sort of <coughs> downpours um, that water can be quite well, there can be particles in it, can be soil in it, there could be anything in it. Um, the idea here is to try and recycle some of this runoff and take it out of the water before it goes into the river. <clears throat> so what we have done is we have um, interrupted the pipe on top of a slope. We have a sort of three, four foot deep pit at the beginning where the pipe comes out. And the idea is that any solid particles would settle in that deep pitch and that can then be dug out from time to time. Um, from there it runs through a wide bed. The water will be eventually three to four uh, inches deep in that. The idea here is that it starts to flow slowly. It comes fast down the pipe so all the particles are mixed in with the water. By slowing down um, a lot of the soil and, and particles in the water will settle to the bottom. That bed is roughly 10 meters, maybe 15 meters long. Um, then the surface water um, comes out of this bed and goes down steps. The idea of the steps is to get uh, oxygen into the water, to get a sort of maximum aeration into the water. From there it goes into another bed and eventually the same process will happen again that it will be three to four inches deep. The water will flow through it very slow. There is an added effect is that there is a certain amount of seepage into the soil from those beds and the soil is planted up with willow. So I am hopeful that the willow will eventually uh, grow its roots to the areas where the water is so possibly also into the beds and recycle some of the sediment in the beds. Um, that way you could imagine that first of all you get energy willow and you also remove some of the nutrients that are still left in the water back into a kind of life cycle. Um, when it comes out of the second bed it goes back to a stream, a form a little, little stream the idea here, there's a nice fall, is again to get as much air into the water as possible and therefore the stream we want to create some steps, natural looking steps where the water kind of drops down and splashes and, and mixes with, with air. Um, at the bottom of that stepped um, little stream is a wildlife pond really which will probably over time develop into a wildlife pond for frogs and, and things like that. And from there it should be, hopefully, once established, reasonably clean and go into the stream. So that is kind of the idea and uh, it remains to be seen how it will work. There will be, that is also quite clear, the first bed, um, there will be vegetation will grow in, in those beds. There will be, I'd say in a year or two, there will be certain types of water plants will probably appear and I think they would be quite helpful uh, again but may have to be it may have to be maintained so that maybe once every two years or so uh, one can just get in with a digger and, and take some of that material out. So this would add to the biodiversity of the farm? Would, yes it would add to the biodiversity and it would potentially uh, clean our runoff of that gravelled area of the farm. It also contains some of the downpipes and there are also some field drains that go into that same pipe. So it's very much an, an experiment um, but I think it should work and if it does we have another outlet pipe on the farm that goes in the other direction and we will be doing something similar with that one. And it may well be something that is of, might be of interest to other farmers to copy if it works. I'm explaining here what I want you to do. So it's the, uh, the dirty water from the farmyard and it's coming down through this pipe and we have a wee well made here where it stays and then it flows nice and gently over and we have put willows in here just 
piece of stuck, stuck into the ground and hopefully they'll take all the, the, the nutrient from the ground and uh, it'll run on across here. And it'll, it'll run down then from here, down into this track here, which will, the water will be hopefully starting to get cleaner as it comes down in here and down on down till the, till the far side. And then round round had to run down round this corner. And there will be a stone stump down here that can fall down over the stone. And then when we get to here, we want this cleaned out here for so far down till about say about ten feet. And then it'll drop down maybe a foot or so and we'll put that it's running down over stones again to clean it more. And then down another 10-12 feet. It'll drop a little bit again with stones, with stones built up in the front of it. And then we'll go a bit further the next time. Because we'll have to watch for our levels if we're not getting below the pipeline down here. And then there'll be another drop roughly 12-14 feet from there. And then on down here, about maybe 20 feet, there'll be another little drop with stones built up in front of it, and then it will carry on then down through here, and it goes into the, there's a pipe down here at the very end. There's a pipe down there, and that runs straight to the river. And hopefully when it comes that length, our water will be clean to go to the river. <laughs>